Peggy 16. Hi guys, Ricky Martin here and welcome back to our behind the scenes journey of the game collaboration between Bandai Namco, Digix Art Studio and Arben. Today we're talking about the music. It's an important part of the game that can heavily influence the tone of a scene or a level. The team have been working with an incredible roster of talented people and to hear more about it, we go to the legendary Abbey Road Recording Studio in London. This is 1111 Memories Retold Behind the Scenes. In 11.11, the music plays uh, the first role in the game. Music is, is telling something uh, universal to people. Uh, it, does, it does not depend on your language. Music is universal. So the, the subtlety we want to convey in the game go through the music first. The war has to be personified in a way, and the music plays that role. Like in, a, in one sequence, you can go from, from uh, pure sadness to joy, to naivety, to something else, and, and, and this can go very quickly. So the music has to, to guide you and follow this flow in a way, and it's, it's quite uh, difficult in terms of composition for sure. I'm very happy because we finally could work with Olivier de Riviera. It's been years we want to work together. He's, he's French too, we know each other for a long time. He's one of the, the rare uh, composers who understand and know video games because he's a gamer. From very early days when we had the brainstorm together, Olivier came and he didn't come as a composer to sit back and go, well, just tell me when you want to make some music. He was right in the middle of the storytelling and, what well, you know, this doesn't work and how about if we put this there and how are we going to turn this into a game? There's a real sense of collaboration there, really trying to get the story and the music to marry together, is that Olivier will ask questions that no one else will ask. He's really thinking about the emotion and the tone of the story and really bringing that out through his music. It's really great for us as writers because you get a fresh, different perspective yeah. on it and you get to really try and incorporate that. A big part of the process for us is actually getting on Skype calls with him. He will often say to us, uh, guys, this, <laughs> this bit of script here is really messing with the vibe I want to create with the music. You know, what can we do about it? So we often have to go away and say, okay, well, can, can we write around that a little mm -hmm. bit for him? Because they, they were mentioning me. They yeah, they yeah. yeah uh, I, I know why. Yeah. <laughs> I worked very closely with the writers, so Steven and uh, Sharky. We've been discussing on a daily basis the characters. The music now is much more about telling the story. Very dramatic, but also very cheerful, very sometimes like absurd. You know, it's during war, so very harsh. So we wanted to express all of those situations. The two characters, they are speaking like as a narrators and the music is supporting that. Right now, music for video games is really the most innovative music going on at the moment. Normally I start off with um, a Skype conversation with Olivier and he, he's got some very definite ideas of how to approach it. He sends me his mock-ups and we have conversations and basically arrive at what the setup's going to be and then it's just coming here and just putting that into reality. I've worked with Olivier a few times now and he never ceases to amaze me. Every project that we've done, he comes up with something totally new. This is very, very different from the last couple of projects. It's just stunningly beautiful. The orchestra is there to express a lot of colors. With impressionism from the French composers, you got Fauré, Ravel, Debussy, Saint-Saëns. I have a lot of, you know, harmonics that are like all spread around. It's quite simple, you might say, but all of a sudden it takes like a lot of dimensions. It's very interesting, I think, you know, to write music like this because you can create motions. The choir appears here and there in the game. It's not much. We didn't want the choir to be all over the place. It's rather when uh, we wanted to express more about the um, mindset of the characters. When you will listen to the choir, you will get, you know, how naive and light is Harry compared to Kurt, that is much more like grounded. Well, I think I've been very lucky to work on this game because number one, you know, Digix Art with Johan Fanny, the uh, creative director, you know, I enjoyed his previous game. 
And also Artman, it's an established animation studio and it was amazing to see the art direction and I thought that we needed to have music that was completely unique to support the style and also the ambition of the game. With this music pushing, driving you forward, how does that change the way you're going to play and interact with stuff? So we've got a synthesized, like, basic version that's current in the game. Um, my expectation coming here was that it would kind of be the same, but with live instruments, and I was totally wrong. It's like when you're here, you realize that the humans behind it, not just the quality of the sound, but the actual emotion that goes into it, is so dramatically above what you've been listening to so far. At the beginning of this project, we never knew that we were going to end up here, like in Abbey Road, with the London Philharmonia Orchestra to record the, the, the OST of the game. That was uh, supposed to be a small indie game at the beginning, uh, but with meaning, being here today is, is something.